This is the latest news. Summary of global geopolitics. Please like and write your comments. They are very important to us. The United States has declared the need for a collective decision on Ukraine in NATO. The United States supports NATO's open door policy, but is now more focused on supporting Ukraine during the conflict with Russia, the State Department said, commenting on reports of Washington's hostile position on Kiev's membership in the bloc. Washington considers it necessary to make a collective decision regarding Kiev's accession to the North Atlantic Alliance. U.S. State Department spokesman Vedant Patel said at a briefing, we support NATO's open-door policy. Obviously, this is a collective decision, and it should be determined by the entire alliance. Now, we are focused on providing support to our Ukrainian partners in solving the problems they are currently facing, Patel said. So he answered the question about the publication of the French newspaper Le Monde, which said that Washington is hostile to membership in the alliance of Ukraine. Earlier, the Financial Times newspaper wrote about the resistance of the United States, as well as Germany and Hungary on this issue. Ukraine applied for accelerated NATO membership on September 30th. Last year, President Vladimir Zelensky said in January that he expected powerful steps, something more than just open doors from the July NATO summit in Vilnius. The Financial Times noted that Poland and the Baltic states offered to provide Kiev with a roadmap for membership during this event. In April, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that all allies in the alliance agree with Ukraine's membership. The Prime Minister of Hungary, which is part of the bloc, reacted to this statement with the phrase what Russia opposes Ukraine's accession to NATO. Presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that preventing Kiev from joining the alliance is one of the goals of the special operation, since the opposite would pose a serious danger to the security of our country.